Hello, this is Miss Morrow from Hague Steam Academy. Today we're going to be making a picture that is inspired by Henry Matisse. He was famous for making cutout pictures. What he would do is he would take paper that had been painted on and he would take his scissors and he would cut out lots of different kinds of shapes, mostly organic shapes that had swirly edges that looked kind of like freeform shapes that were like plants or a star or a human being, just different shapes like that, maybe a sun or just swirls. And he would cut them out and put them on the wall or on a picture. And so that's what's inspired us today to make our picture. We're going to be making a name picture. So this is like a collage. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut out the letters of our name. And then we're going to glue them all together so that you can see some overlapping of shapes and colors. But you can also see the letters of your name. So let's get started. What we need is a white piece of paper and just some scraps of construction paper, scissors, and glue. So I'm going to put the scraps right down here and take my white paper. Now I'm going to choose some paper that I can cut some initials out of. So if I were making the name Ava, I could draw it first with pencil if I wanted to, or I could just cut out a large A. You could cut it with rounded edges, or you can use straight edges like this one. And I would clip the inside a little bit so I can cut out the center of the A. And there I have a uppercase A. Okay, now I might use a different color for the V. And they don't have to be perfect. Uh, Henri Matisse, he made his shapes kind of varied and different. And one more blue. I think I'll take this blue for the last A. And on this one, I think I'm going to make a kind of a lowercase a, just a different kind of a. And I would cut the center out. And it could go right there. Okay, let's start building our collage. So I could take some of these scraps of paper and I could glue them down like that. I'm going to arrange my colors and shapes before I start gluing. And remember, it's, it's nice just to make it kind of ra random instead of just being perfect, really straight and symmetrical. I might put that down there just a little bit. Okay. And I could add this square right here. And I might put that one right up there. So what I would do is I would glue these down. And then I'll start cutting some freeform shapes. So I'll pause. Okay, so I've got these pieces glued down. And I wanted to show you some shapes that were popular when Andre Matisse did his work. Um, let's look again at the spiral and just a human figure. It doesn't have to be in perfect proportion, but you can still see that it's a person. Here's one shape that looks kind of like a plant, maybe a star, just some zigzags. And you could look, make shapes like this or come up with your own. Okay, so I'm gonna take just some scraps. I think I'll make one of those that looks kind of like a, a plant and add it there. I think this black is dark enough. It's gonna show up well against my other colors. And what Henri Matisse called what he was doing was painting with his scissors. So he had a lot of pictures and wall coverings that were made with just cutouts. 
and it was called the cutout. So I'm going to do some overlapping on this. Um, let me take this blue. I have a small piece here, and I can cut just a swirly piece like this and add it. Just some freeform shapes just to make it interesting. Show some overlapping. And here's a yellow strip. I think what I could do with this is make a bunch of squares and maybe glue them down across the bottom. Line them up. Now this shape is a little bit more geometrical on our collage. And I'm going to go ahead and overlap it over on the blue. So we have a pattern of squares there. And of course, I could come back with another color and add maybe another geometrical shape on top of those. So I put some little triangles and a, a really nice contrasting color, black and yellow. And you just keep building and building your shapes. Okay, I'll keep adding some more shapes. Let me add one. I'm going to add one of those spirals. I'm going to cut kind of circle and I, th I like these shapes. I think they create a lot of interesting aspects to your picture, your collage. Now I'm going to go back out the same way I cut into it so there's a little bit of a space there or a gap. And then I'll glue this one on. Just a few dots of glue, not much. And just show some more overlapping. And just keep building until you have your finished collage. Let me turn it around so we can read the name. So I've got those yellow squares and, and triangles. I've got one of the big swirls. Just some free form uh, organic shapes. Maybe a star. This one almost reminds me of water. So you're just overlapping and building. One thing I did add at the end was I went around my letters with a black marker. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. I just wanted to tie it in with my black construction paper. So have fun with your name and make a cool collage that has a lot of organic shapes.